Did you know there are now three types of alternator pulleys on the market today? So it is especially important to know the differences and why these newer pulleys are required on today's vehicles. First, a little background information. It is a known fact that larger alternators are now being used on automobiles. 10 to 15 years ago, it was common to have a 60 or 70 amp alternator on a vehicle. Nowadays, with all the electronic gadgets, DVD players, heated seats, heated windshields and more, it is not uncommon to have 160 to 200 amp alternators. It is these larger alternators with more mass, coupled with newer, more fuel efficient engines that are causing problems for the serpentine belt drive system. Some of these issues include belt slip, which leads to chirping noises, increased belt tensioner motion, and broken tensioners. These belt drive issues are being addressed by car manufacturers by utilizing newer technologies including OAPs and OADs on the alternator. Let me take some time to explain the differences for each type of pulley. First, the solid pulley. This is your standard old school serpentine belt alternator pulley. The only function of this pulley is to drive the alternator. Now, the OAP. OAP stands for Overrunning Alternator Pulley. This simply means there is a one way clutch mechanism that has been incorporated into the alternator pulley. If you turn the OAP, you will notice that the pulley rotates freely in the overrun direction and immediately locks in the drive direction. This is the internal one-way clutch that you are feeling. It is the one-way clutch inside the pulley that allows the insides of the alternator to coast to a stop when the engine is shut off. This overrun feature is what eliminates belt chirp noises during engine shutdown as well as during transmission shifting. And now the OAD. This stands for Overrunning Alternator Decoupler. The OAD not only has the one-way clutch inside the pulley to address the belt chirp noises, just like the OAP, but it also incorporates a special steel torsion spring that absorbs engine vibrations that are caused by the firing of each cylinder and the lower idle speeds of newer engines. Just like the OAP, the OAD will rotate freely in the overrun direction. However, it will engage softly with a spring feel in the drive direction. It is this patented internal steel spring that absorbs the rotational engine vibrations at the alternator. Absorbing this vibration will allow the belt tensioner to remain calm on the newer, more fuel efficient engine. It is important to know which pulley your vehicle has been designed with as these three pulley technologies are not interchangeable.